I want to talk about the short forehand, the sitter, the, so to speak, the easy shot that we're all waiting for when we're playing the game. We get a short ball, what are we going to do with it? There's three things we have to remember. Number one is be alert, be ready, so when you get that short ball, you jump on it with the first two steps. The next thing you want to worry about is taking the ball on the rise. Don't let it drop. That gives the opponent less time to recover. And the third thing is you want to throw your body into the shot and move in into the ball. Whether you're going to go into the net or whether you're going to go back into the baseline, you still have to move into the shot. So we're going to do it in the form of a drill of three shots. I'm going to give Andrew three short balls. After each shot, he's supposed to move into the ball, past the service line, and rush back to the baseline for the next shot. The third one is a total run around the forehand. I'm gonna give you three situations, one over there, one right to you, and one over all the way there. You're gonna run around, okay? The first two steps to the ball. Take the ball on the rise, throw your body in. I want you to move past the service line and then rush back. You're gonna run through the shot. First two steps. You can do better than that. The first two steps are a sprint. You stop. I don't want you to stop. Run through it. That was better. That one was better. And jump into it. Good, good. Rip it. Rip it for a winner. That's it. The other guy can't even touch the ball. It's a clean winner. That's right, even if, it's a, if you miss a few, don't worry about it. It's a high risk shot, go in. Good. Explode. Good. Explode. Nice, nice, nice. Every ounce of your body is on the ball. Good, 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 good. Clean winner. Good. And last one. Good. Okay, let's work on the same subject on the backhand side because sometimes you won't have enough time to run around the back end to hit a forehand and you need to have a huge shot on the back end as well. So I'm going to give you short balls. Your job is going to be the same. The first two steps explode. Take the ball on the rise and rip it for a winner. In your mind, the point is over already. You're going for a clean winner. You ready? It's going to be two shots only this time. Good. Get back. Come on. Go for it. Clean winner. Even more. Even more. I want you to move in after the shot. That's better. That's better. Think clean winner. Good work. Take a little risk if you have to. It's okay. That's right. You're practicing on that killer shot. That's it. You be aware of the short ball and you jump on it. Come on, come on. On the rise. Rip it. Very good. Last one. Come on, give me the best shot of your life. Good. When you work on that in practice, remember, it's all right to miss in practice, to go for it, to take some risk. If you do it enough times, you'll make it. And if you do it enough times in practice, when you go to a real match situation, it's going to pay off and the ball is going to go in for you. You got to be able to put the ball away in today's tennis when you have a short ball. One, two, three, hit. Just like a corner. Back. Stop. Two. You got it. And kick. Excellent. Let's go. Three, hit. Just like a corner. Two, you got it, and kick, excellent.